and dead off in the fifth race. Slow to get going with Islands in the Stream. And this forerunner, Goffs Vincent O'Brien National Stakes Group 1. And it is the stable companions, Cuban Thunder and Bucanero Fuerte, followed by Henry Longfellow, dropped in as Islands in the Stream. As Cuban Thunder, the outsider, takes up his brief as pacemaker, leads a couple of lengths, Bucanero Fuerte, Henry Longfellow, and last of the four, his Islands in the Stream. Four and a half furlongs to go. It's Cuban Thunder and Gary Halpin in front of Bucanero Fuerte and Kevin Stott. A little bit closer in third is Henry Longfellow and Ryan Moore with the back marker heading for the halfway stage, Islands in the Stream and Declan McDonough. It's Cuban Thunder continuing to cut out the running and extends the advantage with three to run from Bucanero Fuerte who impressed big time here in the group one Phoenix with Henry Longfellow making good ground in between horses and then islands in the stream racing to the final two furlongs the pitcher is changing as Henry Longfellow strikes the front from Bucanero Fuerte after them as islands in the stream dropping right out of contention as Cuban Thunder Henry Longfellow twice a winner in as many starts latest was the foot it's parting clear from Islands in the Stream and Bucanero Fuerte. They're well strung out. Henry Longfellow continues his rise through the ranks in the Goffs Vincent O'Brien National Stakes.